welcome back. So today we are going to bring you guys some cocktail ideas. Actually on Monday when I did not do a haul, I actually did a post and wanted to know if like there was anything specific you guys wanted to see. And there were a few requests and we're doing them. The first one, espresso martini. Very excited, and I cannot believe I have never had one I'm very ever, excited. ever <laughs> had one. And we even have a true like espresso machine, so we're we're doing it, you know. Oh my! Right. Anyway, and then what was the other one? Because I can't say it right. The ingredient con contro contro coin. I say it's coin true, but it's quantro. <laughs> Quantro. One of you said you had that and didn't know what to make besides a margarita with it. So we're going to show you another yep. alternative you can do too. And then we're going to make a mocktail as well. And if you caught my last vlog with the kiddo, he made some delicious lemonades, my friends, and we still have some left. Some. <laughs> and we're going to do like a little lemonade meets Shirley Temple. It'll be really good, really yeah. good. But that's what we're gonna do. If you guys enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up. We thought this would be a good idea going into one Super Bowl and then the next day, well, Valentine's Day, yes. kind of crap, do you know? <laughs> but we're gonna give you guys some drink ideas. So yeah. let's start with the espresso martini. Espresso martini. What is it? All right. So I wrote down all the things because <laughs> I'm like, uh. Espresso martini is going to be uh, espresso vodka with a cream coffee liqueur okay, and a little bit of actual espresso just to make it really pop yes. and chilled and served in a uh, chilled martini glass. So I'm gonna go and actually we have right behind us over there the uh, Nespresso machine where we can pull true single shots or double shots. I'm just gonna do a single of espresso in here. Now, if you do not have uh, an espresso machine, not everyone does, you know, right. you can do a couple things. One, you could just do some drip coffee in it and I won't tell anyone, it'll still be really good. You could leave it out. Mm -hmm. You could also buy, and it's actually not bad, It's not not you right. know instant coffee yeah. and instant espresso powder coffee they're not bad they're, they're really not, not. Uh, but just make sure you're not buying ground coffee it has to be right. the instant coffee it will say it on the packaging in fact I think Trader Joe's has one too but those are some options I'm gonna go do this all right so start off with your shaker you should have a shaker or a strainer uh, those things are important put ice in your shaker So I don't know if we're going to like this, so I decided to get a uh, Vail brand minis. Okay. And then I found this really cool vegan coffee. Yeah, cream. this is really yeah. cool. Let me let that go first. Give go it ahead. to me. Give it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> so ice is in the shaker. You want to normally start with your highest proof items going into a shaker if they're all going to be together. Really? Yes. Okay. You start off with your highest alcohol content, so Do nothing not freezes to the ice and causes like abnormal frost or anything like Got that. Got it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make sure this is correct. So we're going to do an ounce and a half, and then of course this should be two ounces. Two ounces. Okay. And that again is an espresso flavored vodka. And then again, I think he showed you real quick too, but this cold brew coffee cafe Tino, I've never seen this before, creamy liqueur. And you'll see mm -hmm. with the little green heart, it is actually a vegan option. So this is like an alternative to Kahlua, mm -hmm. Bailey's, these are those out there that I'm sure many of you have heard of or had, but yeah. majority of them are not technically vegan because it's a cream base. Right. So this is a cool option, but if you could not find this, what else could you do? Could you just put like a splash of a non-dairy creamer that you like just for the, the creaminess of the drink? You can, you okay. can add a creamer to this as well. They do make um, some espresso flavored liqueurs that don't have any creaminess to them. Okay. And you could use those and then add the cream like you were talking okay. about as well. So you, I mean, you could do it a couple, a couple ways. This is gonna look more like a coffee drink, like like a latte almost, the color, but you could do it as just like a black coffee too. I'm gonna do four ounces because okay. this is a big martini glass and I want right. it to actually look good for the picture. Girl. We're gonna do, do that. four ounces of this. Cool. Do you, have you seen this anywhere else besides Total Wine? We just wine? carry this. Really? 
Okay. This one specifically. Okay. So we're gonna. Go I'll link ahead. some of these things down below just for your reference if you are gonna shop for any of these items. Do one of them. So one of those, even though yep. we did double of the other. Two. Okay. Yep. Two to one. Two to one on that. Okay. And then and look then... at the espresso. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm a big fan of our uh, Nespresso machine. When she works, you know the story. <laughs> and then we're just gonna do one part of. Cool. My goodness, that worked so good. <laughs> yeah, that is one shot. That is one, one shot. shot. Let's get all the crema. It's the flavor, my friends. It's the flavor. Right. It is. And now we're gonna do the shake. Lid on top. And apparently, I did not know this. There is a method to the way you shake. Yes. Sometimes he's in here and I'm like, well, you shut up. Oh, it matters. It does, it matters. <laughs> All right, now I was thinking too, for the sake, go for it, for the sake of making it like super cute and stuff, if you had like some chocolate covered espresso beans, or even just regular coffee beans for the sake of making it cute. You could totally add that into it as well. That looks delicious. Now, this is a very, very easy cocktail, but again, it was recommended by a couple of you. And I'm like, that's all that's in it, really? I've never been a huge martini person myself, so I had to double check with him. And he's like, yeah, it's a very simple, simple, strong drink. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Yep. You could put uh, like a chocolate drizzle around the rim. Yes. And you could really zhuzh it up. Yes. Now, I, oh, that does smell good. It does. <laughs> um, wow. That's not bad. I have mentioned to you guys that really I'm not a vodka person. I'm just not. And I think that's what's veered me from traditional martinis, although. The verdict is still out if mm. they're traditionally made with vodka or gin. I guess it can be both. I am more of a gin girl, but I think more traditionally it's vodka, but that is not bad. That's, that's really that's good. Coffee. <laughs> that, that is, is coffee. That is coffee goodness. Wow. Isn't that nice? That's actually really good. Really good. Yeah, I think this wow. I, I think this guy actually does carry yeah. really, really nice. Well, there's cocktail number one. Simple easy again some alternatives if you don't have you know the ability to pull like a fresh espresso shot there's other alternatives out there but let's move on to the next one like i said i am more of a gin girl myself but i've shared some gin drinks with you guys before and i also really do like rum i do i haven't had it in a long time but i do like it and we're gonna do a raspberry mint mojito and anything special to that? We're going to add the Cointreau to zhuzh it up even one more layer or kind of something fresh to, component yeah. that's going to drive it. So when I had this recommended to make a drink with, I had to ask him, I'm like, what is it? <laughs> and he's like, basically, it's like a triple sec, which a lot of people do kind of know. Uh, orange liqueur, basically. Yeah. Um, more spiced? It's a little bit more spiced. Okay. Um, but not as much as Grand Marnier. Okay. So okay. it's like um, the middle ground of those two. Kind of the middle between them in the area. There's okay. a lot of different flavors in the orange liqueurs. There's yeah. a million and a half out there. Find the one that you love the most. Okay. Um, I know we have our favorite. Okay. And it would probably the Grand Imperial would probably work yeah. just fine too. But but we're, we're doing it, girl. We're gonna do <laughs> this guy because I want to know what it's like too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna start with cutting up a lime. You guys probably can't really see that close. Just be careful. Nate took a chunk of his finger the other day. I uh, did. He did. Be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna get some juice in it right now. Oh, don't do that. So we're gonna take a quarter of a whole lime and three little okay. doohickeys there. We're gonna take our raspberries. I just got these yesterday fresh. I'm gonna put five or so of them in there. Okay depending on your size and all this stuff, but it should be a good amount. And you don't want to make a salad. So <laughs> mint goes a long way, but it you does. have to slap your mint. You've got to slap your mint? You slap mint. Wait a minute. So you take your I mint. I've never heard such a thing. And you hit it. And it like releases more of it? And it releases more. Now don't put the stems in there. Okay. So you're literally going to take it and you're just going to leaf it. You want to leave that little bit 
okay. left on the... You gotta slap your mint. You gotta slap your mint. It releases Never the oils. Mess. So we're gonna put four in there and then the rest will be garnished. Okay. Bye. Now, what we can do is... We muddle. We can muddle. We can muddle. Now this is the part, we're trying to make this a little bit more friendly. So you, this is normally where you would see them add actual granular sugar. Oh yeah, yeah. And that will help release everything. You can, I mean you totally you can. can. I think there's enough sweetness in the berries too, and, and that, yeah. yeah, and the rum. I think rum is typically on the other way is like sweet, you know, um, in my opinion. But sure, add some if you like it. Yep. And then get a good muddler. You don't get one of those cruddy ones because you do want it to kind of macerate. And you'll see here on the bottom of this guy, it's got little teeth, and it should actually pick up anything that would make a salad in here. Really? Yep. Muddlers are supposed to be dirty when they come out. Okay. We thought this would be a good one too for Valentine's Day because it will be a really pretty pinkish red color. Yeah. But it is a mojito. Yeah. We were thinking strawberry too, but the raspberries looked really good. I'm like, I'm in. This is just a silver rum. So you so. do want to use that versus like a spice rum for a yes. mojito. I know that. You don't want the extra spices in there. Okay. The Cointreau is going to carry enough of that. So we're going to do three ounces of this. Okay. This one's going to be good. I mean, that one's good though, too. I was kind of surprised. I'm that person, you guys know, one of my favorite, favorite things is peanut butter. You know this. And I don't always love peanut butter flavored things because I love peanut butter. Like, give me the real stuff. So coffee is like next in line for me. Mm -hmm. But that's really good. <laughs> anyway. A little bit goes a long way. Okay. So three rum, one ounce okay. of Cointreau. Let me smell it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells good. All right. And then we're going right. to load it with like a club soda, but one sort of. So now we're going to put ice, yeah. stir, float. Okay. If you don't want the chunkiness in there, you could always put this into a shaker. Pour do it the in same thing. with ice, yeah. And at this point, you would shake it all and you do this. I think the chunks are nice. I think it's good, but you could do that. It's a pretty color. It is. Any type of stir you want. It's my favorite little chopstick. chopstick. Chopstick's the best. It smells really good. And then... And get that guy all around. Most of your chunkies should stay on the bottom. Okay. Now, club soda. Club soda. What's the difference? I probably should know this. Again, my drink of choice is a gin tonic, so tonic water. What's the difference between tonic water and club soda? Is it just... Tonic water will have flavor. More flavor like than... Herbally okay. flavor stuff. This is literally uh, distilled water and CO2. Yeah, okay. It looks pretty. And then you can do one light stir if yeah. you want. Don't lose the carbonation. Delish. Look at that. That's, oh. that's a looker. The mint, the mint leaves. We Come almost on. forgot that mint. Come, you gotta slap it. You gotta slap your mint. I've learned. It looks really good. See, that's a good one. That looks good. Look at the color. I think it's unique too because mo a typical mojito mm -hmm. is clear or a slight green from the mint. Yeah. Um, but I like. Mm, okay. Come on. Mm -hmm. Good. good. It's very, very refreshing. Don't drink too much, but I get the thumbnail. It's good. That's nice. It's very refreshing. That's nice. It's not overly sweet, mm -mm. which I like. But again, if you want a drink on the more sweeter side, I would say add the sugar when you are doing the muddle part. And mm -hmm. I think it'll be like really that perfect amount. Yeah. It's very, very good. good. Very good. That's good. Right on. All right. So for the mocktail, which I'm excited for, I really am. <laughs> uh, this again was what we made over the weekend, and it is so good. I'm doing the cherry one because again, I'm kind of blending both worlds. This is a cherry lemonade, but a Shirley Temple is more cherry and like a limeade. Basically a seven up or a sprite. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> but I thought we'll use the cherry one. We did make a. 
strawberry one though yeah. too, but either way. But we're gonna go with this. You wanna pour that in there for me? It's gonna yep. be easier to pour into this little glass we've got here. So I have a little story I was telling Nate when we were talking about which ones we were gonna make. Careful. I don't know how old I was, but I have to say I probably was six, seven, and I don't know why I remember it. But there was a place that my dad used to take me to for lunch. I don't think it was probably really allowed the more I think about it now. <laughs> and it was like a friend of his and it was like a lounge bar area. And I, we, we went there to say hello. And every time I'd go, I would always get a Shirley Temple. Oh, yeah. I remember this oh, yeah. and it stuck with me it did but they're good but again basically they are just like a cherry syrup mm -hmm. and seven up or sprite so if you want to just do that go nuts. go nuts go nuts and if you're thinking what's the cherry syrup it's usually just a maraschino cherry uh the, the juice you're done you're good but again we're gonna blend both worlds but I do remember that I do so we're gonna add some of this cherry lemonade oh yes and then i'm gonna do cherry they're delicious yeah i mean if you're special get two <laughs> i'm special i'm special and then i'm gonna add our club soda to it and that's sparkle me, sparkle me. So basically it's a sparkling lemonade meets Shirley Temple. <laughs> Simple, very easy. And the treat is the cherry, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good. This lemonade that was killer, he, the kiddo did good. It's the best one. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very good. It's very simple, very, very good. Yeah. That is quite it's nice. Good. <laughs> it's good. Delicious. What's your favorite out of the three? I like this. I agree, I like actually. This, like this is definitely more my alley because I just like those like refreshing drinks. But that is delicious. It is. It is very, very good. Anyway, we can definitely do this again. It's not like a norm for my channel, but we did do it not this last vlogmas but the year before every weekend we did like a cocktail for the month and i didn't do it this last vlogmas and i was called out i was, I was called I out. was called out and so i said you know what as we kind of approach different holidays throughout the year maybe we can pop in and do something inspired by that so i'm thinking maybe <sighs> saint patrick's day is probably next but don't people drink beer? People drink beer. I don't do beer. <laughs> we'll come up with something. But let us know if you want to see more and we can do that. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.